Well, hello, Toby. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm just going to cover Ken's case now on the upper, now that we've finished the lower. And here's his upper um, case, the, the upper arch itself, um, as it's displayed with the seven upper implants, all bone level, platform switching. Um, now I've actually placed some guide pens from the open tray impression copings. I just took them out and seated them uh, each individually and in their respective uh, implant. And you can now start to see how the case is unfolding with the angulation of each. And we wanted, as I discussed earlier, to divide this case up into three fixed cementable bridges. The Omnivac that I'm showing you right now was, was made off of the uh, accepted provisional model and now I'm superimposing that over the guide pins. I punched some holes into the incisal and occlusal areas to show where you'd end up um, with with uh, the extension of each one of the abutments. So whether you want to scan this um, um, or make them individual or, or create the wax up of the case, put that uh, so that you can take it on and off the model and then send that to Atlantis for abutments or you can um, create them yourself and and use it with uh, you know the other labs um, so I'm just counting the number of units looks like we're heading from tooth number two three and four that would be the one bridge and then five six seven eight would be the next nine ten eleven 12, 13, and 14 would be the third bridge. So just to be, um, uh, just to reiterate that. Um, and you can see how well I adapted the Omnivac to the model. And um, again, uh, I guess there's a couple of ways to go. I'm sure you're going to choose what's best for this case, but we can communicate um, about the, um, the abutment uh, design. So which is so uh, important um, and, and should be done properly before framework fabrication. Um, so um, now what I'm going to do is uh, look a little bit more um, on the model itself and, and take away the on the back and let's take a close look at our soft tissue emergence profiles and throughout. Now these are just copies of the peak abutments. Um, we've taken impressions with our transfer copings that were modified to the exact dimension of a pristine peak abutment by this company. And so you can see how in much in detail we have, including even papillas, um, of this case for implants. Um, so there should be a, a nice clean scan with no undercuts uh, and and our abutments should come down come out very nice we'll try to keep the margins in the posterior region um, either at the crest of the tissue or slightly above as we go toward the back of the non aesthetic zone um, that's tooth number two and it's the deepest uh, I want to say the, the one with the most uh, emergence profile uh, I think I measured it down to be at least uh, two to three millimeters. Um, so we have uh, uh, angulations. Uh, certainly we were discussing uh, one of the most severe angulations, but uh, there's a central papilla that we formed uh, in the uh, impression. And here are the ponic regions. Um, we want to add some pressure to the ponic regions, but we don't want the the gum side or the tissue side of the ponics to have any separation um, with with underneath um, uh, each of the ponics. So I like to see them all solid if we can make positive contact with the tissue. Whether you want me to relieve the ponics, I have a special uh, bird to do that or if or if you decide to do it um, there's our um, alignment again 
I'm just uh, looking it over and making sure that we're we're good on on all this. So I'm I know that number 13 has the most severe angulation issue, and that's something that we were a little worried about. We might have to open up the occlusal table. The uh, next segment is I'm going to bring in now the upper uh, accepted study model now that's all been mounted to the new lower alginate and the on the lower alginate and we already have reduced the upper model so you're going to get that already reduced so you don't have to touch it and you'll see that little space distal of number 30 not to worry about that we're coming in with a new crown and uh, we just uh, wanted to make sure we had all our cuss tips aligned properly and this way you know you can go ahead with the case so um, custom guide table was made here's the uh, earlier model showing the three healing abutments on the same case and we now have a custom guide table ready to go for you so Toby if you have any questions at all feel free to pick up the phone hope you enjoyed the video and this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo um, looking forward to uh, to Ken's case on the upper take care Thank you.